Top 15 Most Expensive Ongoing Projects in Africa in 2023 Africa has gradually gained ground in infrastructure development over the last few decades. Change occurs in a variety of ways as a result of growth. It usually comes in the form of new construction projects that involve development ranging from the construction of hospitals and schools to mega projects that transform Africa as a whole. In this video, we'll look at the 15 most costly ongoing projects in Africa in 2023. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe so that we can grow and make more videos for you. Also, remember to like this video and leave a comment telling us what you think of these African projects. 15. Marine Drive Accra Project, Ghana Accra's Ministry of Tourism, Art and Culture unveiled the Marine Drive Project, a 241-acre reconstruction proposal for Accra's waterfront. The project's goal was to create a distinct skyline for Accra and to transform the capital city core into a premier tourist destination. The Marine Drive project would also benefit Ghana's burgeoning creative and cultural industries, and the Associates' plan is expected to include a brand new waterfront promenade that would transform the coast into a bustling leisure and recreation hub. The promenade, which will connect the most well-known landmarks and provide access to the beach, will cover a portion of the site. This project is valued at $1.2 billion. 14. Mandaya Hydropower Project, Ethiopia Mandaya is a 2,000-megawatt hydropower project planned for Ethiopia's Ebe River. The project is currently in the noun stage and will be completed in one phase. The ground and net head of the project will be $117.4 million and $109.8 million, respectively. The project is expected to generate 12,000 gigatons of electricity and will cost approximately $2.7 billion. The information regarding the project's parameters is sourced through secondary information sources, such as electric utilities equipment, manufacturers, developers' project proponents deals, and financial reporting regulatory body, associations' government planning reports, and publications wherever needed. 13. Accra Skytrain Project, Ghana Accra SkyTrain is a fully automated elevated light railway metro network designed to serve Accra City in Greater Accra, Ghana. The network will consist of five routes, four of which will be radio routes that will originate at a new terminal at the Kwame Nkrumah Interchange and one that will loop around the city center. The total track length of all routes combined is 194 kilometers. The Ghanaian government signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Ice Train Consortium of South Africa in 2018, and the parties signed a build-up for a transfer concession agreement in November 2019 following the completion of a feasibility study. The system will be developed at a cost of $2.6 billion by the Ice Train Consortium. 12. The Ammonia Plants Project South Africa Hive Hydrogen and Lind PLC, through its wholly owned subsidiary African Oxygen, announced plans to build a green ammonia factory in Nelson Mandela Bay, South Africa, for $4.6 billion. The proposed complex, which will be built on a 9,000 hectare Sowiga Special Economic Zone next to the port of Nkora, has the capacity to produce 780,000 tons of green ammonia per year. This green ammonia will be sold on global markets. This plan calls for the construction of an on-site solar power plant on a nearby farm. The project will be one of the largest in sub-Saharan Africa and one of the largest in the world. Only for the Renewable Energy and Energy Storage Components, Invest SA, a division of the South African Department of Trade, Industry, and Competition, will assist high hydrogen by facilitating investments through the Invest as a one-stop shop system. The project is valued at $4.6 billion. 11. Greater Tortu Amiam Gas Project, Senegal Greater Tortu Amiam is an offshore LNG project based on upstream gas production in two kilometers deep waters off the coasts of Mauritania and Senegal. It is Africa's deepest offshore project to date. The LNG project is being developed collaboratively by BP, Cosmos Energy, Petrosen, and Sociate Mauritanian De Hydrocarbures, SMHPM. 
with BP serving as the operator. The Greater Tortu Online LNG project, which will be built in stages, will produce up to 10 million tons of LNG per year. This project is expected to cost $5 billion. 10. ESCOM Power Stations Transition, South Africa The partnership to accelerate South Africa's transition away from coal is expected to serve as a model for other countries in the future. According to Andra, the writer, the CEO of ESCOM, South Africa's state-owned company wants to accelerate its new energy project with its share of the multi-billion dollar cash. By utilizing the low production costs of solar photovoltaic take part generation at its mines, ESCOM hopes to reduce its carbon footprint and achieve net zero emission status by the year 2050. ESCOM will first construct solar photovoltaic facilities at its mining sites, followed by energy storage facilities. This project is worth $8.5 billion. South Africa will receive grants and loans totaling $8.5 billion from the United States, Germany, France, and the United Kingdom to finance the transition away from coal. 9. Bagamoyo Port, Tanzania Bagamoyo Port in Tanzania is said to be the largest port in East and Central Africa. Tanzania, China, and Oman are collaborating on the project. The port is being built by the state-owned China Merchant Sport, and an Oman Southern Wolf Fund will establish a 1,700-hectare special economic zone adjacent to it. The port project is estimated to cost $10 billion and will take approximately 30 years to complete in order to reach its full potential. The port will be able to handle 20 times more cargo than the country's largest port, which is located in the Tanzanian capital of Dar es Salaam. Once completed, this will be a significant transformation in Tanzania, creating more jobs for its citizens. 8. Mohamed Tech City Project, Morocco This is one of Africa's most expensive projects, a joint venture between the Moroccan government and China in the construction of the Mohamed Tech City Project. It was first announced during Morocco's King Mohammed VI's visit to Beijing in 2016, when the two countries signed significant agreements, including the relaxation of visa requirements for Chinese nationals in order to boost tourism to the North African country. There was growing interest in the project at this time, as well as disagreement over ship stakes in the new massive smart city, which delayed the project's launch because the project's primary Chinese sponsor, a hate group, withdrew. The Moroccan BMCE Bank negotiated the deal with the other two major Chinese developers, the state-owned China Communications Construction Company and China Road and Bridge Corporation, but the project was restarted in April 2019 during the Belt and Road Forum in Beijing due to its significance. 7. Lagos Calabar Railway, Nigeria The West East Coastal Rail Line, also known as the Lagos Calabar Railway Line, is a royal infrastructure project that aims to connect Calabar, a port city in the southeast region near the border with the neighboring Republic of Cameroon, with Lagos, the West African Republic's largest city. The project calls for 22 stations with associated facilities, as well as a railway line stretching 1,402 kilometers, a room for administration, as well as level crossings, lane tracks, and power lines. Other responsibilities include installing safety lighting and signaling systems. The project will be completed in two phases. The first phase will run from Calabar to Port Hackett, and the second will run from Port Haycott to Lagos via Aniche. Standard Chartered Bank, based in London, has agreed to contribute $11 billion toward the project's implementation in order to fund the construction of the Lagos Calabar Railway. 6. Kanza Technology City, Kenya Kanza, or Kanza Technopolis, is a key flagship project in Kenya's Vision 2030 portfolio of economic development. Kanza will be a world-class city with a thriving information, communications and technology sector, superior dependable infrastructure, and business-friendly governance systems. Kenya has begun construction on the $14.5 billion Kanza Technology City in Machakos County in order to attract technology talent and investors to fuel the country's economic growth. The name African Silicon Savannah refers to Kansas City, 
which is 64 kilometers south of Nairobi's capital, and is modeled after Silicon Valley in the United States. The smart city focuses on business process outsourcing, software development, data centers, business continuity centers, call centers, light manufacturing industries, and academic institutions. So far, the Kansas City project has attracted a number of wealthy investors, including a prestigious Korean university. 5. Dangote Oil Refinery, Nigeria With a capacity of 650,000 barrels per day, Dangote Oil Refinery is without a doubt one of the largest and most expensive construction projects in Africa right now. The project is an integrated refinery and petrochemical project that is currently under construction in the Lekki Free Zone. When completed, it will be the world's largest single train facility and Africa's largest oil refinery. The project was originally budgeted at $11 billion, but due to changes, it was increased to $19 billion. Up to $15 billion has already been spent on the project, with $10 billion going toward the refinery, $2.5 billion going toward the fertilizer plant, and $2.5 billion going toward pipeline infrastructure. The refinery will generate 9,500 direct jobs and 25,000 indirect jobs, while producing polypropylene jet fuel, gasoline, and diesel of high quality. Lapset Corridor Project The Lapset Corridor Project is a flagship project of Kenya Vision 2030 and the first large high-impact infrastructure project initiated by the Kenyan government without external assistance. This is the single largest project of its kind in Eastern Africa, and once completed, Lapset will become Kenya's second largest transport corridor. Kenya, Ethiopia, and South Sudan are among the countries involved in this project. The following will be included in the project. A port in Manda Bay, Lamu. A standard gauge railway line connecting Juba, South Sudan, and Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. A road network. Oil pipelines connecting southern Sudan and Ethiopia. An oil refinery in Bargoni, Kenya. Three airports and three resort cities. The investment resources planned are equal to half of Kenya's GDP. The project components are spread across a large portion of Kenya and will open up the country's northern regions while relieving pressure on the Mombasa port. 3. Eldaba Nuclear Power Plant Eldaba Nuclear Power Plant, Egypt's first nuclear power plant, is being built in Machru Governorate on the Mediterranean coast, about 250 kilometers west of Alexandria. The Russian State Atomic Energy Corporation is the developer of the proposed Eldaba nuclear power plant, which will be owned and operated by the Arab Republic of Egypt's nuclear power plant authority. The Egyptian Nuclear and Radiological Regulatory Authority granted the plant's site approval permit in March 2019. The first unit is scheduled to be commissioned in 2026. The power plant will consist of four pressurized water reactors with a combined capacity of 4.8 gigawatt, accounting for up to 50% of Egypt's power generation capacity. The plant will cost between $25 and $30 billion. 2. The Great Man-Made River Project, Libya The 4,000-kilometer-long, $36 billion Great Man-Made River Project in Libya includes well fields, pump stations, water treatment facilities, and storage reservoirs, with the goal of supplying more than 6.5 million tons of water per day to Libya's agricultural, industrial, and municipal areas. It is the world's largest irrigation project, with a network of pipes currently transporting drinking water from desert reservoirs to the nation's coastal cities. The project was conceived by Muammar Gaddafi, the overthrown ruler who referred to it as the eighth wonder of the world. Since its inception in 1983, the project has already cost more than $36 billion. This project has been delayed several times due to political unrest in the country. New Alamein City, Egypt The New Alamein City, a one-of-a-kind mega-city with features designed to meet the high standards of a modern smart city, is located on the country's north coast, within the administrative borders of the Mitra Governorate. Arabic International Airport, 
which is still under construction, is located 85 kilometers west of Alami, which is located on the Mediterranean Sea. The Egyptian government designed the new element to serve as a government, education, and tourism hub. The city has its own presidential palace, and construction on three universities, 30 skyscrapers, and high-rise towers at New Alamin, which will house over 30,000 hotel rooms, is currently underway. The second phase of the New Alamin Mega Project, which includes 10 additional coastal towers, has begun construction. Alamin stretches 60 kilometers along the southern coastline and covers a massive 50,000 acres to house its population of over 3 million people. The new city, which is expected to cost around $50 billion, will help Egypt establish itself as a regional leader in business investment and tourism. These are major projects that, when completed, will upgrade Africa's infrastructure and development phase and catapult the continent to a new level. Thank you for sticking with me until the end. Tell us what you think about these projects in the comments section. Subscribe to Africa Reloaded and enable the notification bell to receive alerts of new videos.